Sickness and death are a part of life. What if diseases were like you and me? Dysfunctional, emotional, narcissistic. Let's meet the Petrie family. Already discussing their usual diatribe on a beautiful Thanksgiving morning. My last boyfriend cried for his mommy. Let's see you top that. Boyfriend? <laughs> Is that what you're calling them now? I'm not just a love them and leave them kind of gal. I like to stay around and fester. Not me. Wham, bam, thank you, man. Woman. My last guy lost five pounds and turned as yellow as this banana. Oh, yeah? Well, mine puked his guts out for a week straight, lost 30 pounds, and now lays in Herman Hospital, hooked up to an IV. Well. Well, what? Don't argue with your aunt. <coughs> Mom, it's her. She's just trying to make my blood boil. 106 degrees, to be exact. <laughs> Stop it, Floozy. Honey, you know it's her job. I served him his liver. Can you fry a brain? That's enough! Both of you! Happy Thanksgiving, peep trees! <laughs> How's my favorite viral family? <laughs> Dad, why is Aunt Floozy here? She's always bragging about excessive vomiting and diarrhea. Oh, CC, my little germ. You have just as many symptoms as your aunt. You should feel confident about your abilities. But I have not seen a bigger mood killer since the clap. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I... I have to go water the lawn. <laughs> I think the ponds are drying out, too. <laughs> you always know what to say. You always know what to say. Shut up. <laughs> as you can see, life with the Petries is as infectious as chicken pox are to elementary schools. Now let's observe when we inject a new virus into the mix. I'll get it. Well, tie me down and give me chlamydia. Thanksgiving has just turned around for me. Looks like the Stanster brought us a gift. Ooh, hello. My name's Mono. Oh, the kissing disease. He's here to see me. Why don't oh. you go help Dad water the lawn or something? Happy Thanksgiving, baby. Where have you been? You know how it is. Tongues wagging, lips locking. Baby, I'm all up in that. Oh, you curable disease, you. Has your father loosened up yet? Hey! What is he doing here? I thought I told you he was off limits. But, Daddy, I love him. He's my hepatitis A, rubella, and syphilis. Any boy who can be cured by a good night's sleep is not suitable to date my daughter. Oh, Dad. He's not reliable. He's here one minute and gone the next. Mr. West, just give me a chance to prove myself. Kid, you couldn't give a child a runny nose on a cold winter day. Tell me the truth. Do you really think you can handle my daughter? You want the truth? So do I. You want the truth, so do I. <coughs> you want the truth, so do I. 
The truth? Alright, the truth is, you're right, I'm unreliable. But, uh, I won't always be here. I just want to be with your daughter, give her a fever blister, and get out. Well, damn, boy! I didn't know you had it in you! Of course you can get with my daughter! That's so sweet! Be it mononucleosis, hepatitis C, influenza, whooping cough, or West Nile, the Petrie family has truly shown that it is an infectiously dysfunctional, functional family. Even diseases have problems. <laughs>